guys, welcome back to another video. Guys, it is breakfast time, and I'm going to be sharing something that I enjoy. This is some nice corned beef hash patties, nice golden brown. So we're going to jump into this video, and I'm going to show you exactly how I get it done. Alrighty, guys, I think I have this video done before when I first started making videos, but it's always nice to give a nice updated video. So. For this, I'm going to be using one can of corned beef hash. And I got me some eggs. I'm going to be using one of it inside of the hash patties. The rest I'm going to fry. And I got me some onions, black pepper, onion powder, and a little bit of flour. Alright, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and get our patties all mixed together here. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this black pepper inside of it and a little bit of onion powder I'm not going to add any more seasonings to mine guys this corned beef has salt in it already so I'm not going to be adding anything with salt in it you guys can absolutely add whatever you would like and once I get my seasonings added then I'm going to come in and just mix all of this together you see I have one eggs my onions chopped and my flour doesn't matter which flour this just happens to be a little self rising and that's about three tablespoons and we'll just go ahead and get all of that mixed in together first i want to make sure i get my egg and onions mixed in first then slowly add in mix in my flour Alright, and that flour and that egg is also going to really hold this together really good so that you don't have a patty that's breaking apart. Alright, so once I get that all mixed in, it should look just like this right here. Then I'm actually going to let it sit for about five minutes or so and kind of set up. And then it'll be ready to fry. And I'm just going to be frying this in a little bit of leftover vegetable oil from a previous fry guys I always use my leftover oil from a previous fry whenever possible I'm just gonna come in here and just drop these and just like this you can make these as big or as small as you would like I like to make mine a little big so out of one can I normally get four of them on a one can but you could definitely get a little bit more if you make it much smaller all right so i'm gonna come in and i'm gonna add two more inside of this pan and guys you want to make sure that you have a really hot grease you don't want to have grease that's just kind of warm because this will just sit and absorb that grease because of the flour that's in it. That's going to just give you a really greasy product. That's not what you want. And I actually had a little bit too much grease inside of this pan. And I did end up taking some of it out. But once I got some of it out, I let it cook on each side. For about four minutes or so until they start getting brown around the edges. I'm going to come in and give this a flip. They should move easily once you touch them. Shouldn't be any sticking to the bottom of the pan. You see these are nice and golden brown. Also if you're going to put onions in it or bell peppers in it. Make sure you chop them really fine so that it's not real big hunks of it that's not going to cook and just going to have a raw onion inside of it. That's definitely not what you want. And this one just had to break apart. So I'm going to go ahead and get this other one flipped. Let it cook for four minutes on the other side. And I didn't record when I took them out. 
I just took them out and put them on my rack to drain. Then I pulled off some of that excess grease and I'm coming in here and I'm going to add my egg inside of here now. Get that cooked off. I remember when I first started making videos and I did my salmon patties and I cooked my egg first and people just went crazy because I cooked my egg first. Like, are you going to be eating cold eggs? Don't worry about it. Anything you see someone cooking on this screen on YouTube or Instagram, Facebook, whatever, you are not going to be eating it, so don't get all uptight about it. <laughs> so I just get my eggs inside of here and come in and just season them up a little bit, a little black pepper, a little salt. Alright, I'm going to add a little salt on this. Alright, then I'm going to come and give it another little move around. I'm not trying to perfectly scramble these or anything. Alright guys, and my eggs are pretty much done. I'm going to plate this up. I got me some nice cheesy grits. I didn't show me making the grits. I have a grits video already. I'll put that link in the description of this video. So you can see how I make my nice cheesy grits. And I got me some grits. I'm going to plate this up. Take my videos and my thumbnail. I'm going to have me some nice fried hash patties and nice eggs, grits. This is going to be one heck of a breakfast, guys. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. I'm coming in with a quick taste test. This is my Saturday morning breakfast. Little hash patties, grits, eggs. I'm not going to waste any time. Coming in here and getting some of this. Oops. Get on a little bit. Okay. That has piney eggs, cheese grits. All right, going in. Mm. Mm. I can tell you guys, do not add any salt to that hash. A little black pepper, onion powder. That was perfect. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice cheesy grits. Add a little bit of that to it. Down there, some good breakfast. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. I'm gonna enjoy this. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, guys, I can promise you this was absolutely wonderful. Nothing beats some nice, good fried hash patties, nice cheesy grits, and some eggs. Perfect breakfast. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And also, please subscribe to my channel if you are new. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch TV, Cooking and Chilling with Kenny, on all of those platforms. 
And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget the hashtag. Just be a blessing to somebody.